Dear mage, I know you're quite fond of your grimoire, but you've been flipping through the pages for hours now. I suppose it could be reviewing the spells you've mastered, but it seems far more likely that you're doing this out of nervousness. You can try to deny it, but it's a futile attempt. I know you all too well, my dear. You have many ways of showing your worry, and this is one of them. My dear, I understand your concerns. If you're going to get this nervous about every mission we take, then maybe we shouldn't take them anymore. I understand, my dear. But you can't let the memories of that mission haunt you forever. It was an ugly fight. And that's something I can't deny. But we knew of that risk when we undertook your role as familiars. Injury has always been a possibility, and Wolf and I have known that from the very beginning. If we're harmed in our assistance of you, then we accept it. We protect you, dear mage, not the other way around. While I do appreciate that you care for us so much, you can't let that stop you from performing your duties as Mage of the Storm. Our clever bird is right. A bit of spilled blood means little in comparison to aiding you. You are a mage, of course, but you are more than that as well. You are the one we were drawn to who we both have gladly tied our souls to. You hold our hearts, dear mage, and therefore we will guard you with our life. You are the one who comes before all others. Wolfie, are you saying that you love our mage more than me? I'm hurt. Truly, I am. <sighs> that was not what I was saying. But if you intend to be so dramatic about it, then perhaps I'll just allow you to think that. You wouldn't dare. Oh, but I would. In fact, my dear mage, why don't you come a little closer to me? <laughs> For my dearest. Oh, a betrayal in the highest order. You wound me so, Wolfie. Spare me the theatrics, would you? Your joking is giving me a headache. Well, that may be so. But it's also putting a smile back on our mage's face. That should more than make up for my antics, yes? Unlikely. I doubt it was your dramatics that made them smile so much as it was my kiss. Now that's a bold claim. How do you know it was you that made them smile? Because that is the only logical explanation, I should think. Hmm. Your rudeness never fails to amaze me. You know that? Oh, yes. I'm well aware. It's a miracle that our dear mage hasn't stopped smiling yet. Given your arrogance. It cannot be called arrogance if I'm only speaking the truth. The way my kisses delight our mage can only be considered a fact. <laughs> a fact, is it? Yes, it is. And how can you be so confident in that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> that day's look in your eye, dear bird. That is how I know my confidence is well placed. Oh, you're absolutely intoxicating. <laughs> hmm. 
The nerve you have sometimes, Wolfie. It truly is something to behold. Oh yes, Bertie. I know I'm something spectacular to witness. Mm-hmm. You talk too much. It's almost as if you think you're truly better with your mouth than I am with mine. I never said that. But you did imply it. Perhaps I did. But what of it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dearest. Most fair and intelligent mage. Could you come here just for a moment? <gasps> no, dear. Closer than that. A few steps closer now. Uh-huh. Just enough so I can kiss you and prove a point to our wolf. Yes, that's perfect. Now, we kiss. See, I'm far better than Wolfie. Equal in skill? My dear, does nothing I do prove that I'm better than that scoundrel? <laughs> oh, quit looking at me with that smirk, Wolfie. Wipe it right off your face. I trust you've returned with that armor for both of us. <laughs> with sarcasm like that, dear mage, you'll do much more cutting damage than any enemy I might fight. I might even have injuries to repair even before we step foot outside our home. But our dearest is right. What else would all this armor be for, if not for the two of us? It was truly a ridiculous question. Oh, be silent, won't you? Just come over here, big guy, and assist me with my armor. <laughs> Very well. Spread your wings so I can get the straps around you. <laughs> hmm. After all this time, you're still so fascinated by the sight of my wings. I must admit, it's quite a boost to my ego. Not that I mind, of course. I don't... I don't believe our mage is simply admiring your wings. <sighs> I figured not. I was just trying to lighten the mood. My injury is healed. By the deities, it can't even be called an injury now, really. It's merely a scar. I can still fly just fine. Nothing that should draw any concern from you. From either of you. Those words will do nothing to stop my concern from festering in my chest, dear bird. I'm sure Dears feels the same. <sighs> well, I do appreciate your worry on my behalf. There's no reason for it. It wasn't even an event that I no even- No reason? That is a bold thing to say, dear Raven. And I suggest you withdraw that statement at this moment. <sighs> please. Mage, can you please talk some sense into- Dearest, there's such fire in your voice. What's the cause? Of course frustration burns in them. You do not know what it felt like to see you struck, to see you fall from the sky and lie there, still on the ground. Your wing was torn, and red covered the ground underneath you. We both thought that. We thought that the worst had come to pass. You felt so frail as they carried you home. Even though our dear mage used every spell and potion they could to bring you back to consciousness, it did nothing to wake you. Your eyes remained shut, pulse faint, as we carried you home. It felt like a miracle when one of the spells began to work. You finally awoke. It 
hurt to see you in such a state, dearest. I don't think either of our hearts could bear going through it again. <sighs> Such somber expressions don't suit your faces. Wolfie, look at me. Now both of you, come closer. Take my hands. And hear me when I say this. I shall not leave either of you so easily. I'm yours. Both of yours. In heart. In soul. In any other matter that binds us to this earth. So long as I even have the faintest glimpse of life in my eyes. I'll always return to you. Yes, love. I remember what we said. And we meant every word. To fight and battle by your side. That's our purpose. And it's an honor to do so. To spill blood for you is... It's part of that duty. As well as being part of that honor. So long as I have strength to give you, I'm yours. When both of you are with me, there's nothing. No illness, injury, or affliction that I can't recover from. As long as I even have a fraction of a chance to spend more time with you, then I'll make it be so. You're my dearests, my loves, and I'll never allow you to wake up without the feel of my feathers tickling your face. I love both of you far too much to allow death to put a space between us. Now please tell me I've eased both your minds. I have no more words to say. Other than how much I'd like a kiss at this moment. Yes, my dear mage. That's exactly what I was craving. Did you think that I would not offer a kiss as well? Tune your head, dearest raven. Have you been satisfied now? Hmm. Not quite. No? No. I won't be satisfied until our mage gets another kiss too. <laughs> well, my dearest mage, may I silence our raven by kissing you once more? Excellent. Then tilt your head just a bit. Such sweetness you hold, dearest. I treasure it greatly. <laughs> there. Now are you content, Raven? Well, that depends, really. Are both of you feeling happier with me now? Hmm. I'm not too certain. Tell me, how do we feel about our birdie? Very well, then. If our mage's mind is soothed, and you've promised not to leave us in this world without you, then all is right again. Well, that is a relief. Thank you both for allowing me such grace. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, could you finish helping me with my armor? We only have so long, after all, before we have to go on our journey. I suppose you're not wrong about that. <laughs> of course not. I never am. 
And which of us is the arrogant one again? <laughs> you. As you always are. <laughs> Both of us? Hmm. What a heavy accusation. And directed at both of your familiars, nonetheless. <laughs> if the shoe fits? Well, then the shoe most certainly does not fit. Of that I can assure you. I would hardly say that, dearest mage. If anything, we are suitably confident. We are your familiars, after all. There must be something to be said about our strength and intelligence, if we were blessed by fate to be yours. No one could be so lucky as us to share your heart. Indeed. There may not be anything that Wolf and I enjoy sharing. Particularly not when it comes to food. But you... You're very much the exception. To share a life together with both of you is a miracle I never could have imagined for myself. Oh, what's this now? It almost seems like you're starting to get flustered. Dearest, you are far too captivating of a sight when you look at us like that. And we love you too, dearest mage. Very much so. Yes, yes. My heart does delight at hearing that. But let me ask you a very serious question. Mage, do you love me enough to assist me in putting on Wolf's armor? <laughs> it is not nearly as hard as you make it out to be. You just whine because you like to hear yourself talk. Hmm. I won't deny that I enjoy the sound of my own voice. However, it's near impossible to get close to you without your wagging tail taking me off my feet. Hence why I would appreciate some assistance. That is inaccurate, I'm sure. <laughs> Our mage agrees with me. You do wag your tail when I put you in your armor. <laughs> well then, mage. Are you willing to help me with wolf's armor? Excellent. Come here and help me. His arm is a bit unwieldy to work with. Almost as unwieldy as his own tail. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. You may be right about my tail, but how can I help it? Having both of you so close is bound to have such an effect on me. Oh, did you hear that? Our big, bad wolf is actually just a softie on the inside. Do you ever stop talking? <laughs> you already know the answer to that. And you know it well. <laughs> yes, that I do. All right, dearest mage. Let's hurry with that armor. There's only so many hours of sunlight left, after all. And we need to make sure our fluff ball has the proper protection before we set out on our journey. <sighs> <laughs>